Now, hello again. This is Engineer Louis Alcarde from Midas IT Philippines. And now, we are on our final and third video for um, Gen Application 1 video tutorials. So, after uh, running the analysis, we can notice that we are already in our post-processing mode in here. So, after um, we make sure that we, are, uh, we have run the analysis perfectly, then we can proceed with our design. Now, uh, first na gagawin po natin is to activate by identifying again our second floor. And uh, just activate that. And after that is we will now go to our results tab. Now, sa results tab, we will see yung reactions po ng ating, uh, ng ating supports basing on the dead load. And uh, we will also have FZ for this. Uh, we will click on values and legend and we click on apply. So there we can see that this is actually the reactions of our our structure on the Z direction um, basing on the dead load. So uh, we can also check that one here in our results table sa reaction. Pwede po natin itong i-check. Ito lang. And then we can now click on OK. Um, by the way, we can also para po mas makita natin. Uh, let's just go on supports directly. So there, um, these are the reactions of our supports um, with uh, forces on X, Y, and Z and moments on X, Y, and Z that we can check kung ano po yung mga data na kailangan ninyo sa inyong projects. And uh, we can also check naman yung ating vibration mode shape. Dito. We can cancel this. So we can see ito po yung ating vibration mode shape. Basing naman po ito dun sa ating dynamic loads na inapply sa ating uh, sa ating model. So after doing that, we go back to this, to our model, and we activate all, go back to our uh, initial view, and uh, pwede po natin i-check yung ating mode shapes, vibration mode shapes. Um, let's click on animate to choose repeat full cycle, then click on OK, so yun po natin makita ang contour. Just click on apply to animate this. So this is uh, what will happen to our structure. Let's see what's happening. This is what will happen to our structure after uh, when the dynamic loads are there. So there you go. You can see. You can close this. Go back to our initial view. And uh, sa load combinations naman, what we can do here, we are actually, I already added um, the steel design combinations. But what we can do in your part is uh, go to auto generation and we will choose steel AISC14. Ito po yung factor and load cases na gagamitin natin dito. 2.7194RX and 2.5044RY. And then click on OK. Okay. It cannot be modified, so okay. We're not modifying it anyway. Anyways, um, after that, uh, we can now go to our, we can close this. Go to our design. Punta po tayo sa general design parameter and definition of frame. Ito po yung definition ng ating frame on X and Y directions. Those are braced and non-sway frames. For the design, we will use 3D. Then we can click on OK. There. Um, after this, we can go and select our identity. Now, sa identity, we can have uh, select our section. Pipiliin po natin sections ay yung section... 2 to 1. And add that. Use it. Um, 2 to 6. 
and last but not the least, I have 21. There. Right. And we can close this for our unbraced naman, unbraced length. We will be putting LB for this to be 4.0 and click apply. Okay. So there, uh, after doing that, again, uh, we will choose by section, um, section 241. Add, close, and for this naman, we will be using 4.8 and just click on apply. Now, after that, uh, with parin po section, and uh, this time we will be choosing the numbers 224. Add that, 225, 524, add, and 525, and add, close this, close, um, ito po, um, we will be, but really embrace length for that is gonna be 2.7. And just click on apply now lastly we will be choosing the sections uh, numbers section numbers 222 2-2-3 2-4-3 5-22 523 and close all of that uh, we will be using 2.0 for the laterally unbraced length and just click on apply now after making sure that uh, that is followed we go now to our steel design um, let's check on our design code Make sure AISC and all beams and girders are laterally replaced. Click on OK. For the steel code check naman. Okay, for the steel code check, what we can do here is may nagkakaproblema po sa ating kung may pula po dyan uh, we can uh, select this and uh, choose to select lahat and change that if we want to and pipili lamang po tayo ng property and we will search for the satisfied section for that and uh, just click on change and close and everything would be fine so uh, until every every member is okay so uh, after we can now uh, go to section for design and um, here we will modify our sections now for this section 1001 we will modify that to be w30 by 132 and then we can just click on OK next one is 1002 modify this into W12 by 50 and then again click on OK next is you 1000 uh, 2001 we modify this and make this W14 by 90. Let's just say for OK and 
so that's it and we close this now we will select identity again section pipiliin po natin si 224 add si 1001 1002 and 1001 there you go so after choosing them uh, we will close this and uh, we will check the steel code there you go they are all okay naman but if ever there are anything that is uh, having a problem you can always recalculate here it's actually one of the um, advantages po ng ating Midas gym since wala pong ganito sa iba and um, it is very easy to use um, and uh, aside po sa very user friendly na user interface. Now after unselecting all, we can go to our steel code check again and dito po sa re result view option, piliin po natin ng all then go back we can view result ratio piliin natin si 2 to 1 then the show graph of result ratio this is the graph of our result ratio here um, limit po is point, uh, 0 to 0.75 and uh, let's click on select elements and close this and uh, check on this one on the result ratio of result ratio of uh, section 2 to 1 so um, can just close this again steel code check let's run another steel code check here and uh, we choose if we choose to update every anything so ito lang po sila uh, we can select and update that if you want so we'll just close this now we will now change our element parameters punta po tayo sa elements and change parameters gagamitin po natin dito is section id uh, we will assign number 522 and we can just click on apply so, mag-change po ang parameters niyan. And again, after doing that, we should run the analysis. And after running the analysis again, we can uh, have, mm, we can run this uh, for selection again. So, wait po tayo dito, but uh, this is necessary for us to check po talaga kung uh, if our, what we are doing is right so the next is 522 1001 1002 and 2001 close this let's run another steel code check now after steel code checking let's view the result ratio since they our 2 to 4 show graph ito po yung graph 2 to 4 there we can close this now for our load combinations naman for uh, for our SRC um, this is already here but what you can do is you can auto generate that and you can have this I will just close this now under SRC design um, we will modify SRC column section data let's select um, sections 151 to 156 mm -hmm. 
And let's go to our reinforcing main bar. Reinforcing main bar. Now we will have 12 P bars here. Number 8. And number of rows is going to be 4. Apply that. It's the same. Apply na po siya. And we can just close this. And we can run the SRC code check for column checking. As we can see, wala, nang pong, wala naman pong problema. But if there are any problematic elements or members in your model, then you can always go and change that. Um, meron pong automatic na mag-change po si Jen for you. Um, you will find, it will find an appropriate section for you to use para po, um, pumana yung ating project. Now, I uh, I think that that is all that is to show about um, this particular project. And I hope na mas, mas this uh, particular tutorial is something na uh, we had gone deeper for in learning uh, what Midas Gen can do. And um, I'll see you on the next uh, videos that I will upload. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope na ito pong um, um, application 1 sa, sa Midas, ng Midas Gen is something that uh, has has an impact, I think, for you uh, as a user for Midas Gen. And I hope that you can convince your friends and your colleagues or other practicing engineers here in the Philippines that this is really practical to use. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.